So this, I think, is a ruptured abdominal air sac, and it's probably got a rip, rip through the body wall. So at some point, he may have been either bitten in the back or just had age-related kind of weakening of that. And um, now that communicates with uh, with that. So and the, the big thing is to make sure that you don't see, and it's kind of over the top of his kidneys. Mm. Um, it's kind of over the top of his kidney, so you're not going to get herniation of the kidney out that rip, it, and it's probably the size of a pinpoint area. Is he a candidate for adoption, or...? I don't see why. I mean, whoever adopted him just would need to know that, but... Okay. Um, but, you know, I think I think that there's a small hole right through his back, right above his kidney. And every time he makes noises, you know, you get some birds who really, when they vocalize, they put pressure in the common place that they may start to prolapse or weaken is that cloaca, and then they prolapse the cloaca. In his case, trauma may have happened to the back there was a small tear in there, and then anytime he vocalizes, air goes the path of least resistance, which is through that area, not causing cloacal dilation. Right. Because of where it is, it's likely... If it were on the ventrum, where you have intestines and all that stuff that can, like, fall through the herniation, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't uh, hesitate. I would go in surgically and repair it. But I think in this case, the lesion is really dorsal. not lateral at all it's really dorsal so I wouldn't do anything for it surgically it's risky to do anything back there yeah. um, and the likelihood of it causing issues is low okay there's the pneumatic diverticulum of the air sac into the femur Tad has um, every time he vocalizes he has uh, an air sac that dilates right over the top of his left femur. And every time he does that, the path of least resistance is in the skin. And the big explanation for that is he's had trauma to that pneumatic diverticulum of the abdominal air sac into the femur. So instead of the air going into the femur, it's going the path of least resistance, which is into that septic tissue cutaneous tissue above that. So when he makes noise with his ab abdominal pressure, that's why you see the bulging of that skin. Um, usually these are situations, because it's all bone, you don't have like a tear in soft tissue. Um, there's not a real repair of that area unless I popped bone cement into that area and then I take the chance of adding infection to that area. So there's not a real repair to it um, unless there was a mechanical issue in the femur itself, of which you know I'm willing to take x-rays or do a CT of, but honestly, if he's not limping, it's probably just a soft tissue rupture of that air sac, and that air sac is tissue paper thin, so there's not really suturing it together it's simply, um, it is what it is. So.